What's going on everybody? This is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions and today I'm going to show you how to export an HD 1080p video in Final Cut while keeping the file size very very small. So here I have the Final Cut Pro document of one of my previous videos on this channel and I'm going to show you how to export this in full HD while keeping the file size very very small. Now you can see that this is a fairly long clip, it's about 3 minutes and 15 seconds or 3 minutes and 20 seconds long and usually what people do is that they go to file, they go to export and they click on QuickTime Movie. Now this is where everybody goes wrong. Now of course you can do a lot of things here, you can try to keep the file size down however it does not work as good as using a different file type which I will get to in just a second. So I'm going to click cancel on that. We're going to go to file export and instead of QuickTime Movie we're going to click on using QuickTime Conversion and this is where you're going to change the format from QuickTime Movie to MPEG-4. Now you're going to go to your options. For file format you select MPEG-4. Under video format you click on H.264. You can restrict the data rate to potentially whatever you want. People say between 2 and 5,000. I'll go about 4,000 kilobytes per second. Sorry, kilobits per second. Now the image size, obviously you want the highest, which is 1920 by 1080 HD. And you can keyframe every 24 seconds or automatic, whichever one you want. Doesn't really make a huge difference. Now the audio, you can keep it at 128 kilobits per second. And the output sample rate, you can move it up to 48 kilohertz. And of course, encoding quality to best. Now, those don't make a huge difference, but they do improve it here and there. Once you're done with that, you can click on OK and your video will start exporting. As soon as you type in the file name, type in the path where you want to save it and click on Save. So here's the video right here. I've just opened up on my Finder. This is my update May 2011.mp4 video clip that I saved. And you can see it's full size, 1920 by 1080p. It's recorded by my, my Canon T3i. It's good quality, HD, everything. It's all good. Now, if you click on spacebar and if you hit on command I, you will see that the file size is 100 megabytes. Whereas, even though that may seem a lot, if you exported that with QuickTime Movie, that would be way above that. It could potentially be in the gigabytes. I would say even about 4 gigs from my experience. But that's pretty much it. It's very, very simple. You can do that anytime you want within Final Cut Pro. I'm using Final Cut Pro 7 at the moment. And if you liked this video, don't forget to actually like this video right down below. You can favorite it, you can comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Once again, this is MacBoy from MacBoy Productions, and I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions.